So hi again everybody, it's Cammie here. And man, it is hot out here today. It is hot, I'm on the sun porch and it is, it's hot. That's even with the fan going. And if you hear the air conditioner, I'm sorry, but we're in the south and we need our air conditioner. Anyway, Rosebud here says hello. I wanted to show y'all. I got a fan girl. She's my fan girl. Anyway, today I'm uh, very happy to announce that I'm taking part in a collab with um, a house full of Harringtons, a another new YouTube channel um, like me. And uh, we're working together to bring you some great, um, some great summer desserts. So I'll go on over there and give them some love. A beautiful young lady with um, a house full and another one on the way. And um, at the end of this video, I'm going to tag five of my fellow YouTube channels. And um, it's going to be up to you to also uh, come up with a summertime dessert that will make everybody happy. And I know you can do it. It is so hot out here. Anyway, so for my dessert, I have um, come up with, well, I haven't come up with it. I've, I've made it before and I've seen it before, but a very simple ice cream sandwich cake. All of the ingredients you just pick up from the, uh, from the candy aisle or the ice cream aisle and there's no baking involved, no turning on the oven, no turning on the stove, no turning on any kind of pot, you know, crock pot, insta pot, this pot, that pot. It's just all a very simple uh, dish that is, it's a dessert that you can make in just a few minutes and it would be great to make with your children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, who, neighbor kids, whoever the little ones are in your life that you, um, that you like to cook with. It would be great for them. So many, so many varieties you can make with this uh, ice cream cake and it is so good. It is delicious and it's just the thing you need when it's so hot outside like it is here in central Alabama. We are in the 90s and humid 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 so humid we just cut the grass the other day and we need to do it again but anyway i'll let you go now and see how i can how i make this great dessert and then at the end be watching because five five channels are going to be tagged and you'll know who you are i'll see you on the other end so the ingredients you need to make your ice cream cake include the following You'll need, um, obviously, some kind of ice cream sandwich. Uh, I got this variety and brand because it, we like both. You could uh, use the chocolate variety or you could, I also saw in the store a Neapolitan, which would be great if you wanted that. But you just need um, your ice cream sandwiches. And how many you need depends, obviously, on how big of a, um, how big of a dessert you're making. I'm making a small dessert because I'm just making it for the four of us and just for a little treat for um, today with our, with our supper or possibly lunch. But if you were making it for the 4th of July or some type of outing, you can make it whatever size you wanted or needed and it would just solely be based on, on how much you needed and you would just, um, add the ingredients, the ingredient amounts accordingly. There's not really a set amount. You can just kind of do it any way you want it. You don't have to use uh, aluminum or metal. I just picked this out because it's about the size I want. You could use the throwaway pans or you could use a casserole dish, whatever you have, whatever works for you. Anyway, you're going to need your ice cream sandwiches. You're also going to need a variety of um, candy. I picked the Reese's um, cups because my family really likes the Reese's cups and I thought this would be a good compliment to the uh, ice cream sandwiches. I've made it before with Butterfingers and that's really good, the Butterfinger candy bars. 
or you could use M&Ms, you could use turtles, you could use you know, just whatever in your imagination, but I think you would want something that was a chocolate base. I'm not sure how sour gummies would do, but hey, you know, go ahead and try it if you want to. Leave me in a, com a comment if you do, because I want to know how that turns out. And if you've ever made this, this dessert before, let me know in the comments what candy you have used and um, how you liked it. If you've mixed up candies, I wanna know about it because I wanna try some different varieties. You also need Cool Whip. Um, you can make your own if you wanted to. You could use, I just have the original Cool Whip or you could use the creamy, the sugar-free, whatever you want, but you do need Cool Whip. And I would just get the Cool Whip instead of making my own, my own whip topping because that's the whole thing about this is quick, easy, when you need a quick dessert or when you don't want to heat up your, your kitchen, just something that you can do really quick and get to it. And you're also going to need a um, caramel syrup. This was on sale at my store, so I got it, and Smokers is a good brand. Once again, you can make your own caramel. I don't know why you would want to, because this is, once again, supposed to be quick, easy, and to the point. But any kind of caramel topping would do. I've also used a combination of caramel and chocolate syrup. Uh, before when I made this and that works great too. If you're not a caramel lover, you could obviously of course use chocolate. You could use the strawberry uh, syrup, you know, or strawberry, yeah, the strawberry sundae syrup. You don't want like the, um, you know, like the kind that you make the um, drink with. You want something that you would use on a sundae. So you can really, really adapt this to what uh, your family likes and what you have on hand and just try different varieties. The first thing that you're going to need to do is to open up your ice cream sandwiches. Now you can get the regular size if you want to, or you can get the um, smaller ones. I don't think anything is, is um, as large as they used to make it. I don't even, these are minis I think, aren't they? Are these the mini kind? I think that might be. Anyway, it'll work. And you're just basically, you're just going to lay them down in your pan. Let me see my pan. You're going to lay them down in your pan, kind of like you would do if you were making a lasagna. You're going to layer this. And like I said before, what's great about this is that you can do this in a quick hurry you don't have to um, you don't have to heat up the oven you don't have to um, you don't have to uh, have a you don't even have to have an oven you could be on vacation and make this what a treat that would be say if you were at the beach or camping or somewhere and see you just kind of break them up to make them fit into your pan. I am using a odd shaped pan, I know, but honestly, I didn't, I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to make a big thing of this. Part of my problem is that I am so limited in on freezer space that um, I kind of have to watch it. Plus, I'd rather make this a few times instead of once and, um, it not get eaten. I'd rather make it a few times in smaller batches for my size family because it's just the four of us. What I might need to do here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna add a little bit to the side there. And on these, you just, you know, you just break them up however you need to. Nobody's going to know how you've um, smushed them in there, so to speak. And then you're going to have your first layer of the Cool Whip. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it's all going to be um, layered and you can pretty up, you can pre make the top layer the prettiest. And when people bite into this, they're not gonna know. This is a great idea if you have a, um, 
a birthday party that you're planning for like your um, little one in the family or a big one. You know the um, cakes that you get, that you buy, the ice cream cakes, are they can be kind of expensive. And this is a simple way, and a uh, less expensive way that you can have one for your party and it not cost an arm and a leg. And honestly, what's so great about it too is that you can even have the little ones help you uh, make this. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my, um, hope you can see that. I'm not sure where I'm at. I'm just gonna spring, just kind of pour a little bit of this topping on here. And then I'm gonna take just a handful of my chocolate. Won't need too much, just about a handful. And I was gonna use this to kind of chop them up. Let's see, yeah, that's working pretty good. They don't have to be just, um, they don't have to be chopped to smithereens, so to speak, but you do want it to where you can spread it out and it's just a taste. You don't want whole um, pieces of candy on there because you want it to all kind of be layered. Nuts is another thing that would be really good to add at this point too. And you just kind of sprinkle that around and just kind of make sure that everybody's gonna get a bite. Now, then the next thing you do after that is you're gonna take the next layer and you're going to repeat by adding your ice cream sandwiches. This would be a great dessert to take to um, like a 4th of July party or any kind of party like that. And you could even adapt this, I would think, like to the winter time. This would be a nice little something different, say even at Christmas when you have all of the other heavy desserts and then you had this. Look, that one's actually going to fit. The other one didn't. I think it's because I, I didn't have it tight. So you wanna make sure that when you do yours that you do have everything tight so that you can get more in there. And see this only, a small one like this, if you have a box of 12, if you're making like just a little loaf pan, you're gonna have plenty. If you're, you just kind of look at um, how big your um, serving dish is, your casserole or baking dish or whatever, and you, you're gonna have to kind of gauge. And you may end up with some extras, but you know, if you're gonna have extra of something, then it might as well be ice cream sandwiches, right? That's, that's kind of my motto. And see, I'm just gonna smush those in there. And that is going to look good. I'm gonna have three left over, but I don't think they'll go to waste. And then I'm gonna have some of this left over too. And then I'm going to get some more of my whipped topping on here. and make that last layer. This one I'm gonna try to make a little bit prettier. It's a little bit harder. I picked I picked a utensil to, to do this that might not necessarily have been the best for this size, but we're gonna make it work, aren't we? That's what we have to do. When we're in the kitchen, we use what we have. But that's gonna be okay. That's gonna work okay, isn't it? I'm gonna have extra. Cool Whip too, which is never a bad thing in the summer. We'll have to use that. So see, now we've got our last layer. We'll go ahead and we'll drizzle. Well, I say drizzle, but we're gonna add a lot. <laughs> and this would be 
really pretty at this stage too if you had like some sprinkles or something that you wanted to add to it. That would be so cute like for the birthday party. You could do your, um, add your candy on top and then add sprinkles. This would be something good depending on what, um, depending on what uh, chocolate you pick. Like if you had a senior citizen's birthday and like my father, when he was alive, he loved Reese Cup. And he also loved ice cream sandwiches. This would, he would have loved this dessert. This would have been a perfect dessert for him. So, you know, think about that. If you're doing like a, uh, like a birthday party, a retirement party, uh, if you say you wanted to do something for the uh, nursing home or something, this would be something that would be easy, easy to make. And if you, if you chose like a, a uh, soft, a soft um, candy that, you know, wouldn't be hard on them. Or you could leave out the candy. You could just do the ice cream sandwiches and, um, and kind of fix it like that too. That would, that would work fine. So I'm just going to add the last of my candy right there. And then just kind of clean this off a little. And then what you want to do here is you want to get your um, aluminum foil, saran wrap, whatever you use, and you want to um, put, you want to wrap this up really good. You want to put it in the freezer and give it time to, um, to freeze. And then you're done. You have your dessert. And all you have to do now is just clean this up, get this in the freezer and done and you never even had to turn on your um, oven. The kitchen is still cool and you have a wonderful dessert. So there you go. Enjoy. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that uh, recipe. I can't wait, wait for ours to freeze and then we're going to eat it. Anyway, this is Marley with me. Hello, Marley. Hey, baby girl. This is my diva dog, and I think she's gone. There she goes. Anyway, that's Marley. She's she's a little camera shy, which is kind of surprising to me because you, I thought she would love the camera. Anyway, I have my five channels that I'm going to tag to uh, participate in this collaboration, and here they are. Yeah, I thought I, drum roll. <laughs> anyway, here we go. My very, very favorite person in YouTube, Renee, Little Village Homestead. She knew that if I'm doing any kind of collab, she's going to get tagged because that's just how we are. And I expect her to tag me in any collab that she's ever in. Next is Paul's Rule of Thumb. If you haven't checked him out, you've got to. He is a cannon machine. He is, he's, he's great. And then our friend up north, uh, Happy Canada Day, would be all sorts. And then the first person to ever tag me in a collab, and I'm going to take, give one back to her, would be Mama Bear Preparedness. And also, last but not least, would be the very fastly growing channel, Stivers Homestead. So I'll contact all of you guys and let you know um, kind of, not the rules, but kind of kind of how we're, we're doing this. And so watch for that. So you guys watch for all of these videos. I'm going to link everybody down in the description box. And this has been a great collaboration with a house full of Harringtons. And go check them out. You won't regret it. Anyway, thank you so much, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, and don't forget, like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell, because you know me, you never know when a video is going to come out. I'm kind of sporadic like that. And stay, stay safe, stay calm.